This is one of the newest menus for the Canadian Forces Individual Meal Pack, or IMP. Pub style pulled beef. Menu number 12. Look at that beaut. Let's you know it's a military ration. Not for resale. Gotta say, this one here, huge thanks to Smitty's MRE reviews for helping me get it. Actually, he didn't help me get this thing. It's just give him a shout out anyway. Contents sheets on the back. They don't have those cardboard boxes anymore. It reduces weight. It's got sliced pears. Sorry. The main has 39 grams of protein in it. And as per usual, the Canadian IMP's flameless ration heater is issued separately. Okay, so let's give it a look. Waterproof packaging, low density polyethylene, and it's tough. It is a tri laminate ration package. The outer pack is arguably the highest quality and most tough of ration packaging so far. Of any ration. This thing could get airdropped, safe to say. Right off the bat, an exact protein bar. These things are outstanding. Tortillas. Flat profile, calorie dense. It's a good option, actually. And it's not that exciting as it can seem. It's very effective nonetheless, as with this beverage bag. The beverage bag with a built-in gusset. So it can stand up on its own. Fortified peanut butter. And a nice thermo pack comes out of the US. Two lemon lime beverage bases. There's the main. Again, 39 grams of protein, and you can feel it. That thing is dense. Kit Kat. Looks like it melted a little. That's okay. Nestle's Kit Kat. Can't go wrong. Wow. Love these new retort pouches. Thick, flexible, thermostabilized retort pouches. It's a large part of what makes a ration is tough and resilient packaging. Check this out. Raspberry jam, book of matches, Tabasco sauce, little pack of Tic Tacs. Gotta have them. Nothing worse in the middle of combat than detestably bad breath. Nest Cafe Sweet and Creamy, original. IMP Spork, and a paper towel. Okay, so there's everything laid out. Love this pack. I mean, check this thing out, right? You could probably just, if you filled it up with air, you could probably just lay on this. Like, yeah, you could, it's pretty much like a cushion just as is. Okay, so there's everything laid out. Not bad for a single meal. All right, let's get this sat on your tray. Nice, okay, let's first start off by Heating up that main. These things are hard to come by. IMP. Look at that. Little pub style pulled beef. Come up with new stuff. And it'll take a menu out and then bring it back a few years later, a lot of times, and maybe update it. In this case, brand new menu. This one takes more water. Let's check out that coffee. Not much scent. Nice looking freeze-dried coffee crystals with creamer and sugar. Looks like the surface of another planet. Okay. 
lemon lime beverage base. Hmm, lemon lime beverage base smells just like Gatorade from the 90s. A prevalent, halfway natural smelling citrus. Okay. Sliced pears. Those pears are hardly oxidized. I got a really good idea. Let's check out the Kit Kat. This thing is looking like it's been through the mill. Oh wow, it's actually okay. Not much bloom, it's just... Huh, what happened? Let's see. When it melted, it reformulated and did so beautifully. It didn't even... Oh, that looks real shiny. Listen to that FRH. It's really doing its thing. As for this, check that out. You hold it for just a second. Kit Kats are a real choice for rations, aren't they? I mean, is it for morale? I think so. This, on the other hand, might have a little bit more stability, but we'll see. This might have bloom too. It feels like it might, and it could probably end up quite powdery and horrendous as time goes on. 250 calories, 14 grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, 13 grams of sugar. Pretty well balanced. What was the fiber? One gram. Could probably use a little more fiber, but then again you get the pears. It's better than nothing. Let's see. Oh yeah. It's melted before. Is that fat separation there? Look at this. Right in too far. Look at that fast separation. Like it's happening now, not like a year ago. It makes a big difference. Like we're, we're getting this thing when it's still good. You know, this, this ration was made in 2021, beginning of the year. Things three years old. Also quite melty to the fingers here. This ration is fascinating to me. I just, you, know, you get this like stuff that's going to melt in a in a desert climate but like they got it in there anyway because it's seen as more effective nonetheless than a tropical chocolate which let's check out these tortillas a lot of that tropical chocolate you know and it's not like fruit flavored chocolate we're talking chocolate that's military designed chocolate you know like it's supposed to be tough and withstanding 120 degree fahrenheit temperatures a raised melt temperature. These tortillas, they actually look three years old. You know, for shell stable, a little bit of discoloration. Huh. Looking pretty good. Oh yeah. Gotta love the smell of shell stable tortillas. They really are unique. A slate chlorine yeast. Raspberry jam. Okay, so the peanut butter, thermo pack, easy to open. It's not as exciting as the real sweet icing, almost peanut butter from back in the day in IMPs, but it's certainly a tougher package. Let's try out a piece of Kit Kat on its own here. Will it just melt before we ever even eat it? Probably. Look at that thing. Cookie wafer. Like no other. It's probably how they keep enlistment 
rates up. Got to have folks signing up for something. Mmm. Milk chocolate wafery crisp. It's just out of this world. The only thing that make it better is putting some peanut butter on there. Let's see. Blob of peanut butter at the top there. Like that. And we'll just put it back there. Now this piece. Look at how the chocolate's just melting right on the tray. Check that out. Oh yeah. Check this out. The jam. Oh, jeez. Dark, nice raspberry jam. Oh, wow. An unusually delicious, velvety sweet and viscous raspberry jam that's very natural. This thing's probably ready. Oh, yeah, it's ready. You don't have to wait that long for it. That's a great indicator. You can get the rest of your food out onto a tray. And by the time you do, this thing is ready to rock. Hmm, I can smell it right away. Black pepper and like a roast beef. Uh, carrots and potato. large piece of beef mustard and dill and garlic it smells like a diner mm, the freshness of the dill the savory almost buttery sauce it's not too salty i mean that is amazing flavor. These potatoes are relatively firm, like the most firm while still having exceptional and normal chew out of any potato I've ever had out of a retort pouch. Hmm, tastes almost like fried. That's crazy. The potato almost has like a, like an absorption of oil in its texture. Carrot has actual carrot flavor. It is a little mushy, but it's notable in its flavor and not off-putting. There is some black pepper, savory garlic and onion. Look at this. You can almost skewer the potatoes. Look at that. You can, technically. And let's see. Truly fantastic. Look at the meat. Unbelievable. For retort pouch, three years old, perfectly fresh and unchanged. Look at the potato skin. Look at that right there. This thing is bar slash diner restaurant food. Let's wrestle up a bite here. Mmm, perfect chew. It tastes like a roast beef at a restaurant. Here, hold on. Lemon lime beverage base. It is classic Gatorade flavor, like the original flavor of it. I don't want to do tortillas of this. What you do is you drop this into the retort. The sauce goes a long way. Get in there like that. You got yourself a calorically bolstered main and Canadian lemon lime beverage base in IMPs. Tastes just like Gatorade lemon lime. At least the old formula. Not sure about the modern. Probably the same. Kit Kat with peanut butter. exceptionally emulsified peanut butter with highly emulsified milk chocolate and a wafer crisp doesn't get any better mm. oh wow it's so good like you just want to keep eating 
I think that's the whole thing, you know, they, they give you food that you'll actually want to eat, and then that food will make you want to eat more food. That's brilliant. That's exactly what you want in a ration. It's food that you can eat a lot of, there's good variety, and you can mix it all up without having to worry about a bellyache. I'm telling you, that's huge right there. It's just real peace of mind, you know, and you can always count on the Canadian IMP for a solid meal. The coffee. I mixed it a bit weak, but that's good because you can do that with these Canadian Double Doubles. They're extra creamy and sweet, so they'll make for a really nice light roast flavor doing it like that. Why not enjoy it, you know? Like this chocolate bar, it's looking pretty melty here. Mmm. Look at that. It just melts right in your fingers. I don't know. I mean, it tastes amazing. At least there's that. It tastes so good, you won't even care that it half it melts everywhere. Yeah, it's just unreal. They got a protein, like, frosting center. Chocolate wafer. I'm surprised they put something so good in the ration. Really not sure if they're going to keep that thing in there. You know, it's at 2021. They might have already gotten rid of it. The exact bar. Kit Kats, too. Doesn't make any sense, really. You know, and the fact that you'll actually want to eat it. What's more important, palatability or shell stability? I don't know. It's by a certain point, you know, you're going to have your trade-offs. I feel like I'm eating diner food. This does not seem like retort. Oh, well. I better eat anyway. Can't let it age much longer. Hmm. It almost seems like cross between corned beef, roast beef, and a pot roast. Now for the pears. Look at that. I'm telling you. It almost looks like a, I don't know, not a pear. Mmm. They skewer perfectly. Sweet, not overly fibrous. Pears. And the Tic Tacs. Hmm. Nice peppermint, smooth, hard candy. Compressed napkin. You could actually wash yourself with this thing. It is reusable and a nice addition to this ration. Look at that. The Canadian IMP is better than ever. Pub style pulled beef? What an experience. Well, anyway, this is Steve 1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. You're old. Alright, cool. See ya.